Hey guys, I have a bit of a different video for you here today. I've been listening to Periphery's Juggernaut. I've noticed there's a lot of Easter eggs, which I really love in songs. These Easter eggs, these references to other songs. This is going to be kind of a long video, so I'm going to jump right in. First of all, right out of the gate, A Black Minute, the very first song from Alpha. Let's have a listen to this. And that second song there was Stranger Things, the very last song off of the album. So you have the very first song and the very last song. In case you didn't catch it, that's that like ambient sound and the kind of that xylophone sound. It's the same sound, it's just reversed on, on the first one. So first time I heard that was was really cool. There's a lot of these Easter eggs in, in the very first song, A Black Minute. Uh, next, next we have reference obviously to Reprise, the first song from Omega. They're basically the same song with like slightly altered lyrics. Our voices echo on a quiet night Silver faces on unholy cathedral moon and sun A birthing bright in this duality The screams will echo on a quiet night Silver faces on unholy cathedral Death has come In this duality. Our voices echo on a quiet night, the screams will echo on a quiet night. Uh, moon and sun, death has come, you know, stuff like that. Next is another reference from that embrace the feeling of our human skin or a soul within, something like that. Embrace the feeling of our human skin, intertwining now with ecstasy. So obviously in A Black Minute and Reprise, it's a bit quicker and it's a bit of different lyrics, but it's it's kind of similar. Embrace the feeling of a soul within. They both say that. Uh, realizing this is what they need. They, they both mention a circle in the third line of it. Inside the circle, that's a mystery. I didn't notice this one for a while. It's actually a reference in, there's a reference to it in Omega, the title track from Omega. Embrace the feeling of our human. Next we have just another reference between A Black Minute and Reprise. So again, just the same song with different lyrics. All right, next we have MK Ultra, the second song from Alpha, referencing Omega.
first time I heard this was really cool. It's basically that solo, that kind of jazzy, has kind of a jazzy feel in the in the first one. The second one has more of a metal triplet feel, but it's basically the same solo, the same melody in that in that case. Next we have Heavy Heart. At the very end of this song, it starts to do this ambient sound, and it carries on into the event, and it actually lasts for most of the length of the event. And this is that ambience we saw at the end of Stranger Things. Next song, The Scourge, has a direct reference to Psychosphere. This is basically the same part, except I think Psychosphere is a bit louder and, uh, not louder, but like heavier. But I think it's just the same lyrics and everything. Next we have Alpha and Omega referencing each other. The main chorus from Alpha, Stop Bleeding on the Inside, You're Alive, and Omega has that, that part at the end. I think there's slight alterations because Alpha is in 7 8 time signature and Omega is in 4-4 uh, four, four time signature. Omega, I think, says we're alive instead of you're alive. I'm not entirely sure on that, but I think there's a slight lyric change there. Next, this wasn't obvious to me until I looked up the lyrics. This was this is a really cool one. So first one says, fly past the withered tree. Second one just says, fly past the trees. First one says, ascend, and they, they both say, ascend to holy air and breathe. Next one, alpha and priestess. They both say, step out in the rain. I think that's kind of cool. I don't know if that's entirely intentional, but that, that's a cool one. Next one in alpha, these... Again, not necessarily intentional, but it just uh, sounds similar. The background vocals have kind of a similar uh, choir-ish, like evil choir type sound uh, to like that live, die, burn part in Hell Below. That's just a cool part. Next I have on this list is less of a song Easter egg and it's, it's part of the video, but I figured since Rainbow Gravity doesn't really have any references to or from it, uh, I figured I'd include this one. So that was the video for Alpha. 
and it has rainbow gravity in it. It's like the name of that video game that that guy's playing. So that was a pretty cool one. This next one, 22 Faces and Stranger Things. This isn't really a direct reference, but it's like, it's just kind of a similar uh, melody for the, for the chorus. Next one, 22 Faces references the bad thing. Tearing a hole inside. First one is I'll bury your life, next is you're buried alive. So that's a cool one. This next one is a reference between Four Lights and Stranger Things. It's interesting when I first heard this, it's, the, it's just the same breakdown pattern. I think it's slightly different just because of the rhythm. Like say, because the first one is triplets, there's like six of the first note. With Stranger Things, it's eight because it's just, it's two fours. Two fours and two sixes, really. Or two threes, rather. But yeah, that's a cool one. Next is Psychosphere and Stranger Things. So first you have Sadistic Horror, and next you have Majestic Aura. Next we have a, it's not really as much an Easter egg because it's two things in the same song. So it's not exactly an Easter egg, just a repeated uh, melody. So first you have the guitar riffs in the uh, chorus. It's the same part of the, as uh, the breakdown in the end. Next we have Omega and Stranger Things. And fire burning down below, like water raining from above. First you have fire burning down below, then you have water raining from above. Next and lastly is, again, not really as much of an Easter egg because it's more of it's two things in the same song. First you have wandering below the Hadion seal, next you have floating up above the Hadion seal. First, shaking mortified, making my way back to nowhere. Next, sounds of ambient voices to lead me from nowhere. So, that's a cool part. Again, not exactly an Easter egg, but not really noticeable necessarily the first time you listen to it. But it's just a cool thing I noticed. But anyways, that's about it. Let me know what you thought in the comments below, and if you thought of any more that I didn't uh, get to in this video, also let me know. Thanks for watching.